There's something euphoric about the anticipation that builds in advance of an annual tradition. That anticipation can be amplified by missed years and the effect of exhilarating memories. It's been nearly three years since I've been back to the pristine waters of Eagle Lake and surrounded by the warm hospitality of Rick and Allie, the owners of Pine Beach Lodge. While I've been fishing Eagle Lake for nearly 20 years, this would be my first trip entirely dedicated to fishing muskie and my first trip in August. My time away from Eagle Lake certainly amplified the anticipation, but that effect was further compounded because this would be the first time I would get to share this special place with my wife, Victoria. This is our 2022 Eagle Lake story. Well guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, we are locked and loaded. Loaded up, getting ready to go on the road. Today is a special day. Today marks the first time I will get to go back to Eagle Lake in Ontario, Canada in three years. Uh, 2019 was the last year I was up there, and it's a special trip because a little Vicky here. So, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by my alarm. Um, it's pretty early in the morning. It's about 3, 3.30, I think. We're getting on the road. Um, I always struggle to sleep in anticipation of trips like this, so we might as well get on the road and she can sleep in the car. So, um, we're going to head to the border, get across, and then shoot up Highway 502 until we reach Eagle Lake. We'll check back later. Mic check, one, two. Mic check, one, two. Why is it doing that? Is the door open? Um, okay, well, folks, just a status update here. We've made it into the land of maple syrup, and we have about three hours left in our journey. Um, it should be interesting to see kind of what condition the roads are in. I haven't driven this road in about three years, and it's usually under construction or in pretty rough shape. So that could add a little bit of time to our trip, but what are your uh, initial thoughts on Canada? so far it's pretty cool yeah mm -hmm. okay haven't seen much of it yet oh you will you're about to for seven straight days all right we'll check back in later
all guys we made it we are on eagle lake and we are about to make our first cast of the trip um it's what like two o'clock three o'clock ish mm -hmm. something like that so we should be coming up on a, a moon miner here and then we have a major right before dark um but i think based on the feedback from the last video uh that victoria and i did together what the fans really want to know is are you going to swear more or less this time I'm gonna do my best to swear less. Okay, so that was the first point of feedback. The second point of feedback was, um, will you be snacking more this time I'm... in the last video? Well, I didn't bring any snacks today, so <laughs> granted, there's only like a little chip out here right now, so. Yeah, just a grinder up until dark. I plan to snack more tomorrow. Yeah, we'll snack when we get in tonight. So, priorities. But first, we're gonna try and catch a muskie. We'll check back later. Gotcha. <laughs> Okay, so what does little Vicky want to throw? Oh, 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 it's magic. This one? Yeah, you have to light like this one. No, dark one? Is that what he said? Okay. Or this one? Yeah. That's when you have to mix it, right? Yeah, it's good luck. <clears throat> Grab that split ring players behind you. What? The green one. Green? Yeah. Teach you how to do this. Every bait has a split ring on the end. Mm -hmm. I honestly wondered how you did that so quickly. With your no fingernails. That's how you do it. Careful on your first cast until your line gets wet. Yeah, you should be able to reel this pretty fast. I think. Just set that on the chair. <clears throat> okay, so you are doing that. Do you think I should get my, my thing wet first? Well, I said just be careful on your first cast until your line's wet. No, we're gonna go around this island, remember? Just wait, I'm not ready yet. I don't care. closer to that island so we can touch the shore. Vicky D, what are you starting out with? Can you explain to the listening audience what that is? Um, no. No, that is a bucktail. We bought that at the Minnesota Muskie Expo this year. And it's small. And she's going to reel it fast. Um, I am starting off with Old Reliable. Eagle Lake is a notorious dive and rise lake. And I've had a ton of action on this bait. I have it set up just to run perfectly. The fish really, really like it on the stall. Um, and with these bluebird conditions, chances are they're going to want something more pole posy. But we're going to throw something straight retrieve and something pole pause here to start things off until we figure out a pattern. Oh, good cabbage. That's what we want to see. <clears throat> A lot of it. Thank you. 
Yep, there it is. Keep going, keep going. Reel it in a little bit more. You're not even spinning your bait. He was real lazy behind you. Yeah. Cast back there and reel that in as fast as you can. That was a smaller one than the one I saw, but I would have taken it. Two fish on this spot. Figure right eight. Right to the trolling motor and then swim away. Really? It's probably that same one. Was it the same size? Yeah. Well, we know they're here. It was on that waypoint where you moved yours, so. pepper that fish too much more because I want to be able to come on back on it right at dark what keep going keep going big wide eight it's right there no it is but he's not he's not ready to eat so i don't think we should pound him over the head with baits anymore i think we should go get you some snacks fish a couple different spots and come back right before dark Well, folks, that's a wrap on day one here. We weren't successful, unfortunately. Um, we started off hot, moved two fish, had one of them up multiple times, and planned to go back on that fish at last light. But unfortunately, um, there was somebody else on the spot when we showed up to it. So we tried some new stuff here right before dark, and um, I think tomorrow we'll head kind of down to uh, an area of the lake that I'm more familiar with and have some better spots. So. Hopefully better luck tomorrow, but these bluebird skies are tough on Eagle. 
Uh, I think tomorrow's supposed to be Bluebird 2, which is going to make it challenging. Um, but we're going to give it our best effort and see what happens. So we'll check back tomorrow.